to All for United WFC with me, Matt Crane. Um, I'm joined tonight by Nat for the Arsenal preview. Nat, how are we doing? Good, good. Excited, but really, really nervous. <laughs> yes, uh, it's a big game. I think I've seen a few comments. Some have billed it our biggest game of the season. Um, would you say it's our biggest game, looking at the sort of running of fixtures now? Yeah, 100%. I mean, some have billed it as the biggest game of the season, but for me, I think it's the biggest game that potentially we've ever had. I know we've been in like semi-finals, quarter-finals and stuff like that, but this is sort of the difference between us going to that next level, Champions League. You know, Casey's even admitted the kind of players that we look at. We see who can bring in like Tobin and Kristen, but the kind of players that we want to bring in and where we want to be, we've got to get to this level. You know, everyone wants to play in it. You know, it might even be some players are looking, should I renew or not, you know, based on getting here and to sit top for so long and to not get it would be just like devastating. Um, she said it's a failure on her part if if they don't get it, which, you know, it sounds a bit harsh, but I think it is a bit true, you know, and I don't want to be mean to her or the players, but you can't sit top from October all the way to January mm. pretty much. And we just sort of, she sort of said, we threw it away in that Reading game and in a way that's the game that we are going to look at because yes, you know, Chelsea can beat us, City can beat us, but we've got to beat all the teams around. And to get that Champions League place, we knew what we had to do. I mean, that Reading game sort of reminded me of, I mean, we looked awful, but it reminded me of um, that West Ham game. They just played out the skin, you know, last season. They just played out the skin and just got it. And I think if we show up today, we can be beat them. There's no doubt about it. You know, they're on good form now and they have good players, but they've not looked like a team all season, whereas we've looked solid and together and you know know what we're doing we've got our tactics down to a T so hopefully you know he said that they've sorted out our tactics and they know how we press etc but for me I think she's a better manager Casey's a better manager than Joe so yeah they've changed up formations a bit but it shouldn't cause us too much problems and just believe in yourself and go out and attack and win the game no, yes, yeah, but on I think you know you talk about that togetherness and it's 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 evident sort of on and off the pitch, isn't it? Um, I think for me, you know that that's something that they may not have had this season. I think if you mm. look at how many players there, it seems to be. I don't know if it's individuals or sort of collective groups, but there's like some that are rumored unhappy. Um, obviously, there's a the big fallout after Dubai. Um, mm. You know, so it's one of them. But I think for for me, like you say, they've they've not done well this season. I think they've struggled in parts. I think. There's been rumours as well of the manager leaving at the end of the year and going back to mm -hmm. Australia. Um, you know, I've heard sort of people like Alex Scott and other pundits, Sue Smith, say, you know, it's a, it's a big season this year for Arsenal. You know, if they drop out the top four or top three, shall we say, um, then they're going to sort of struggle, you know, to attract and there'll be people looking to leave. So obviously summer's going to mm -hmm. be big for them. But I think for me, you know, quietly confident. I think we're starting, you know, we've, we've got sort of presses back today. Um, Lauren James is back and we're slowly starting now to get bodies back. But... I do agree. I think you're spot on. I think if if we do drop out of the top three, you know, for me it's a failure because Conte mm. Cup was poor. You know, we, we should have got out of that group with ease. We didn't, um, and we're left with now fight for Champions League and a sort of you know FA Cup run that I'll obviously yeah. carry on next season. Um, finish, yeah. For me though, I think I allowed that. We allowed that Conte Cup run because we were top. You know what I'm saying? We all sort of just mm. sort of went. It's so, okay, we're top, you know, focus on what the league. And, you know, it's with the League Cup. The men have done it. We've done it. We've seen it with Fergie. He's just sort of not throwing it away, but... And she'll never say that she threw it away. She'll say it wasn't good enough, etc. But, mm. you know, we allowed all that for this league. And like you say, if we had already... If we had got point, even a point versus Reading, like you say, that is the one we're looking at. And now, yeah, it's still in our hands. We get a point here. It's in our hands. It's out of their hands. But if they beat us, this is not the game that you want it to come down to. You want it to yeah. to be sort of really. I thought it'd be out of sight by now. Champions League. I thought it'd be wrapped up and we'd be, yeah. you know. And I know, you know, missing Toby and Leah, LJ for time. She's back in LJ, and I see someone saying, "Where will she play?" For me, I think Press is going to play on the left, and um, you know, LJ down the middle, definitely. But for me, we should have been outside with this Champions League. It shouldn't have come down to it, but it's coming down to it. You know, we need to, you know, no one's expecting us. 
And people might say, oh, it's harsh to say it's a failure, but I don't think it is. I think it's right. But I don't think they're going to fail. I think all I can say is hopefully a win. But, you know, you know the way Casey is. Tight. Don't let them through. Determined. Dogged. Even when they have beaten us, just been that, that, that one-goal margin. Even in the very, very first season, it was a one-goal margin, 2-1 their place. But I don't think they're as good then as they are now. I think we're a lot better mm. now. So... I don't want to say we're going to win, but I don't want to say, you know, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, because I know you said you'd be yeah. happy with a point, didn't you, as oh, well, um, the other day? 100%. I'll take a nil-nil now. If you gave me a nil-nil, I'd take it. Yeah. No one I would. And I know she says we don't play for draws and all this kind of stuff. But I don't care because, for me, it's just all about getting that Champions League and a nil-nil me means... But, you listen, we could drop points against Brighton. We could drop points against Thing. Then it would be unacceptable. Yeah. But I'm not... I'm expecting us to win. I'm expecting us to get at least minimum a draw here and then it's in our hands. But... No, I agree. Yeah. I think for me, though, it's like you said, you know, if if we do avoid defeat tonight, whether that's a win or a draw, I think, like you say, though, those following games are going to be massive. We can't mm-hmm. be slipping up against the likes of the Brightons, the West Ham's, the Tottenham's, even Everton last game. You know, it, mm-hmm. it's there's no point in going, getting a good result here and then exactly. messing it up in a week or two's time. So, yeah, I think I, I said, I think I said 2-1 the other day. Um, two one win, so I'm hoping for that. But we shall see. Um, and obviously, I'm going to come to this here from Vix. No, Leah Williamson. It's a massive loss for them. It is. I think their their defense is at sixes and sevens. I've seen a few of their games this season, and they've just looked so bad at the back. I mean, they've you know they've been missing Steph Catley for most of the game, uh, most of the season. Sorry, um, for long periods of time. But yeah, another one here. Robert agrees with you. Take a draw minimum. Should we get into team news then? Um, obviously, was there anything? Surprising in there. I know everybody seems to come and out before kickoff. Everybody has a meltdown over team yeah, news. But yeah. you just want to talk about that. From um, your point of view. I think the most surprising for me, no lad at all. And I think that she's been carrying something because we've even said it on the, the, the podcast, you, you know, on YouTube channel, <laughs> that she comes off all the time. And why is it that she's coming off? I mean, I get the city one, she had a yellow card. You thought you were going to get a red, but why she keep coming off? And I think there's mm. something niggling. You know, I think it's it's all right. She's all right to play, but I think there's just something there and maybe she'll get surgery at it. You know, I'm not saying I don't know, but it's just weird how she keeps coming off. And she played all the games last year, but this into the and even in in the start of the season, she was playing full 90 minutes and now she keeps coming off at like 45, 50, 60. So I think something's there. They're probably never gonna tell us, but she's obviously fit enough to play. I'm happy that Stanley's playing. And for me, I think the shock is that Jess is on the bench. Yeah. I thought this one, I knew she would make an impact, but I thought it would be off the, the bench. She must be more sort of ready than we expect because for me, I think even if you look with the men's team, Pop has been injured out for five weeks and he came off the bench. Yeah. And that's how I would have played it. I mean, I think Ollie played a blinder by doing that. But obviously Casey knows something different, knows that, you know, she's fully ready. Maybe trust her more as a centre forward than Jess and Jane. I'm so, I don't know. But for me, it's a bit strange that you'd rush her straight back in because that's what happened with yeah. last time and they did it. It's not like she can't come on and change a game like she's, she's shown she can do yeah, it. absolutely. The only thing I can think is maybe with the lad being off and LJ starting, that they might look to win it early and then shut up shop. But that's the only thing. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, trying to guess Casey, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, they're all drilled and they all do the game plan that she wants. Yeah, it's like you say, it's one of them. I think for, for me, I was surprised, obviously, with Smith back. And obviously, Maria has sort of, you know, she looked mm. okay when she's come on the last few games. So I thought she might have been in, probably at full back. I'd have put either one of them at right back. And then, like you say, obviously, Zellum over Lad, where the Lad comes on at half time, because we're seeing that, haven't we? Sort of, you know, one starts and the other gets subbed on, um, sort of 45 half time or 60 minutes. Mm. Um, and then, like you say, you know, Jess, I, I think, and I, I said that sort of in the group chat in time to Robert as well, I think that was very harsh. Obviously, Press missed last game, you know, wasn't fit. Jess was, played very well. You know, Lauren was out as well and has been out for a while. So, I think for me, you know, Jess, Jess can feel hard done by being on the bench. But, you know, again, like you said, they we, we can wrap this up early. You know, bring Jess on to bully their back line when they're tiring for sort of the last half an hour. Mm. I think, you know, we, we, we can really go places. But it's going to be... Um, 
very interesting anyway, I say the least. But, you know, I think even if, and a lot of people have said this determines Champions League, I think for me it doesn't. I mean, I don't know sort of your thoughts on that, but I think if, if we do lose this and mm. we still win our remaining games, knowing that Arsenal have got to go to Man City, I think last game or second to last game it's of the good, season. Yeah. I, I I don't think it'll be an issue for us as long as we're on our toes. They've been to Man City. I think they've been. I think they've got Everton. I'm not sure about that. Have they got to play right. Chelsea? Maybe. <laughs> they've got to play one of the big sides. I thought it was Arsenal. Are you sure? sure. Yeah. I'm sure it's City v Arsenal. Hoping somebody in the comments will. Uh, yeah, we'll come <laughs> Google it for us. But I know that they've played City at their ground. At, at, I'm not yeah, sure I think this is away. Or, they've played City away. Already, and okay. remember, it's the last so it minute. Must, must winner. be at home, then. Yeah, but Don't know. There's, there's still games. Oh, <laughs> still games yeah, anyway, where Arsenal can drop points. You no, know, for example, they've got West Ham, and that's the game in hand. And I know West Ham look awful, but you would think the closer it gets, West Ham are looking at the drop, the sitting bottom. You would think that they've got to step up and and really show. I don't know if they've played they've played Reading, yeah. And I know they've got to play Everton. I know Everton were, were saying, um, I saw something from like, Izzy Christensen and she was saying, we want to get fourth, we want to catch Arsenal. So, yes, they've they've lost versus City and that would have put them down and, you know, they lost versus Chelsea. But for me, out of the, top, out of the traditional top three, that's the easiest game, Arsenal. So if Willie can get something there and, you know, we, we will lay a mark if they beat Arsenal... I've just Googled it here now. It's Everton. They've got that's a tricky one. Mm. Everton, they've got to play Brighton. They've got to play Tottenham. Um, yeah, Villa and a few others. So. I just think as well, that would be the momentum. That's what it'll be. So I think, yeah, a draw, they might still think we can do it. But a draw means it's still in our hands, you know. And I just think that'll take a lot out of them. Yeah. Whereas I think if we lose... Yes, they will never. They won't give up our girls, but you know it's, it's not in our hands anymore. If they win all their games, and that's why I just thought where we were at should have been wrapped up. But it is what it is. We can't look back. We've got to look forward. And you know the games now for me, I think no Leah Williamson is massive. I think uh, it's Tooney and I think Hanson can feel unlucky that she's not got a start. But it's Tooney and Press. You know, everyone's saying press, press. And she did look really good in the She Beliefs. And now it's time to see that that masterclass that everyone's saying. Everyone was, you know, it's like feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> so, you know, when you see press and she's starting as a nine and it's like rabid animals, you know. Mm. And they know that I'm just playing, I'm just messing. But it's what it's like. So we've got her now on the left. I'm ready for it. I need to see, you know, taking shots. I need to see crosses. I need to see her corners. I need to see all that that I saw in the She Believes. Which up and down, up and down. Because Casey said you got to defend. So, you know, she's got to be going up and down, up and down, staying strong, mm -hmm. you know. And that's potentially why I think she has been playing nine because maybe Casey hasn't trusted her as as, as much as Leah, which, which she wouldn't. Um, she does look stronger, though, which is good. And she looks more physical, which is good. Um... You know, I've always said there's no shame in coming to this league and taking you a bit of time anyway, no matter how many World Cups or Olympics, yeah. no shame in it. So, you know, this is what people are waiting for, LJ and Press. And, um, you know, we always rely on LJ. Last year, if we didn't have it was always through LJ. And she's young, but, you know, she showed versus Chelsea that, yeah, I'm I'm the one, I'm the one. Stop saying Tobin's name, say my name. So she knows everyone's looking out for everyone, celebrating that she's playing. So... You know, yeah. just the unfortunate thing for me, Matt, is the fact that we're not there. You know, know. it's really the best waitress. I know you couldn't come last time, but you heard a lot of stories yeah. and going off and seeing all the scenes and the way that when Molly scored that goal, even though we were in a championship and we knew we were pretty going there to lose, the way we celebrated and the way we got, you know, got on their back. And I mean, I think I remember their goalkeeper being like really shook because we were behind and this one. <laughs> Well, the way that she threw that the way she, you know, I don't think she's the better one. I think that the other one's the better one. Mm. Um, and people were criticizing her for not saving Tooney. So I think, God, if we were behind that goal and her and it was, you know, 10 minutes to go, just bam, 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 bam on it, you know, stick it on her. Just have and, to pepper the shots, you know, a couple of long range ones. Yeah, and... yeah. And but make sure that you're in there, make sure that you're in there, LJ, in there, in there, you know. And yeah. you know, we know how to play against these, we've beaten them. You know, the, yes, they've got. The, that's what I'm worried about. It's the only thing I'm worried about is this forward playing nine. 
and moving our defenders about and then uh, Miedemar getting in that space. Yeah. That's why I'm think, worried about. Yeah, I think we're going to have to switch on at the back. Um, just before I let you go then, we're going to go for, obviously, a quick score prediction then and goal scorers. <sighs> One one, and I think LJ will score and meet him after them. Obviously, I'd I'd love two one, pressing LJ if we're going to go two one. But I think a one one yeah. and I'm happy. Yeah, no, I think I, I'm sticking with my two one. I, I was going to say actually, you know, pre pressing LJ. I think will be <laughs> the two. Um, but yeah, who who knows? It'd be nice to see sort of Stanley maybe get one after you know mm -hmm. to follow up a great performance, but. Who knows? Um, well, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, it's nearly time for kickoff. Enjoy the game, and I'm back at half time with John Foster to analyse the first half. Cheers, Nat. See ya.